All right, guys, we have officially arrived at our destination. Um, it's a pretty good haul from home. I think it's it's over an hour and a half. I don't know if it's quite two hours, but it's a little bit of a trip. But it is a pretty nice place. It is in the middle of nowhere. No one else here. Just a nice little campground, middle of nowhere. I think there's, I don't know, 10 spots in this one and you can go up farther and there's a bunch more good spots that will be in future videos because they're they're nice but this is trip two in the truck i think it's trip two and it's getting better it's getting better now you saw the build for the back seat that that's a game changer for a truck I'm gonna show you why because it's it's handy so that's how that turned out which it's just plywood and this little two by not two by two I don't know it might be two by two anyway it's a rear seat delete built that stuck that in there it's huge help because now the bed area is not just clear full of stuff um actually because this is definitely the first like you know rendition of this it'll definitely have a couple different versions you know i want to be able to like strap it down or build something you know what i mean but i just kind of threw everything in here so we get to camping but it's working pretty decently plus these f-150s have like door pockets i got like extra bags and saws all blades and paint for no reason they got these big long door pockets here for your hot saws and flossers and tpe and all that good stuff but my grills under there uh i have a tote back there with like extra fluids for the truck itself there's tools my fire extinguisher my tire change and stuff my boots heater food cooler camera equipment and lights i made a tote for pots pans spoons plates all fits in that tote i found this little organizer thing I don't remember where I found that, but it's just like a little organizer thing. It worked perfect. Camera batteries, uh, cords, uh, my jump pack in case my battery dies, all sitting in there. Uh, it's all loose. It'll, you know what I mean? It don't need fastened down most likely, but I am digging this setup so far. So I have a very tasty dinner planned for the night that I have not had in a long time, and I have a special sauce for it. So, I need to get the fire going, which you can tell I'm in a t-shirt. It's because it's 51 degrees in February. It is nice. It's been nice for the last couple days. Tomorrow is supposed to be better. Tomorrow, I think, at home, it's going to be pushing 60 degrees. So, I wanted to get out, do some camping, enjoy this nice weather in February. Because I think I read that next week, or week after, bad news coming. Don't know if that's true, bunch of snow, super cold, but we will camp if we're gonna plow through three feet of snow. So, stay tuned to see what happens there. But for now, I gotta get a fire going. It's only one o'clock, so I am excited. So I can get a fire going, let that burn for a good long time. Get started on dinner, I haven't eaten today, pretty hungry. Uh, yeah, just kinda hang out, stay tuned. Going with the homemade fire starters again. It's just got like some dryer lint and a candle and cardboard and all that noise in there. Kind of like these because you can just kind of light the wick and it stays burning for a while. All right, fire's going pretty good. I think it's time to assemble some meatballs here. So I definitely need a mixing bowl. I'm going with some hot Italian. There are like shadows everywhere. Can you even see that? That doesn't help much. Anyway, hot ground Italian. Because I always go with ground beef and sausage in mine. I think it tastes way better. Um, I guess I'm just going to start with the eggs. Why not? I'm drawing a blank here on this egg situation. I want to say usually these recipes call for like one egg per one pound, maybe. I guess I'm just going to. 
Hopefully it's not too much egg. Turn out like a meatball omelet or something. Alright, time for some beef. I went 73.27. I didn't even really want to go that much because there's fat in the sausage. But I did for some reason. So that's what we're using. This open, maybe. Try to apply some sausage to the situation. Maybe. Ow. There we go. Leave a little diaper thing on there. I don't know what that's called. I'm going to call it a diaper. Then we'll go with a little seasoning. I'm just going to kind of throw a bunch of stuff in here and see how it goes. I don't know. We're going to go with some parsley. We'll go with some chives. Why not? I don't know that I've ever put chives in my meatballs, but couldn't be terrible. Go with some basil leaves. That is way too slow for me. That's probably too much. Then we got some oregano. And then I think I'm going to go with a little green top danos. That should be pretty tasty. All right. Definitely got to cut up an onion. Cannot be making meatballs with no onion. That would just be silly. All right. Onion is diced up. Got to dice it up kind of finely if you don't want real big chunks of onion in there. Or I guess you could just use onion powder. I'm a big fan of the actual fresh onion myself. Actually, what I wanted to do was saute these a little bit first, kind of soften them up, give them a little caramelization. Because I think that's pretty tasty in a meatball, but. I forgot until just now. All right, now to completely make a mess of my hands that are clean, by the way. I should have gloves in here, actually. That would be kind of nice. This bowl could be larger. The only bad meatball I've ever had is if it's like really super dry or burnt. I don't think these are going to be that dry. Hopefully I won't burn them. I have burned things before. Well, that was a slight waste of time, so now i got to start over. You guys let me forget to put breadcrumbs in there. And I didn't buy any, because I don't use them a whole lot. And this is going to be a first for me, but I'm just going to cut some out of the bread we're going to use and make some uh, homemade ones. That's kind of my plan here, I don't know how well it's going to work. But, we will find out. I mean, that's a lot of bread. I mean, I can definitely hollow that out. Still some of it anyways. All right, so the bread definitely helps. Drying them out some. Definitely sticking together much better. That's some nice hot butter going there, so I think it's about time to throw some meatballs in. All right, that's what an overcrowded skillet looks like, in case you guys are wondering. But, I'm pretty excited for this. It's going to be tasty. So, while I burn those, I got a new beer to try. All right, so this week's adult beverage of choice, Voodoo Ranger Hard Charged Tea. 24 fluid ounces, 7%. So, a little on the strong side. I had no idea Voodoo Ranger did a tea. I think there was two of them. I think I got them. Shot of lemon, the other one might be, I think I got two. I don't know what's happening. Definitely got this one though. I don't mind like a twisted tea every so often. Not a lot. I can do like one or two at a time. Mmm. That's not awful. I think it's actually a little bit smoother than a twisted tea, if that's possible. Because I always thought twisted tea basically just tasted like sweet tea. Like you couldn't really taste alcohol in it. But No, the aftertaste. There it comes. There's a little hint of like an alcohol flavor in there. It's 
not overly lemony. Lemony's not a word. I don't know. That's not bad. I think I may take that over a twisted tea, really. It's kind of hard to rate it for beer because it's tea. It's not, you know, it's just alcohol. I mean, I personally would rather have another beer over this. Like a hot summer day, that would hit the spot. On like the hard tea scale, it's probably one of the better ones. I'd say that's probably about a 9 1. I mean, I couldn't see them getting a whole lot better than that. But on a beer scale, like I would rather have other beers, so be more like a 7 1, which still is not bad. I mean, I take this over a lot. Okay, that was surely enough rambling to burn at least half of those meatballs. Let's go check on those. Okay, we're good. Got a little color, not burnt. So, I'm not doing a hot sauce this week because it is Truff brand spicy marinara black truffle infused. Should be good. Their hot sauce isn't terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's, you know, made with ripe tomatoes, delicate herbs, red chili peppers, and black winter truffle. Shake well for its use. For its use. That's not a very big jar. Like, it'll take all this to just make a couple sandwiches, I think. And it was $5.50. And the tag at Walmart was yellow, which I think is clearance. So I don't know what this costs normally, if that was the case. Serving size is half of one cup. Four servings in here, 170 calories a serving. So, I mean, not too ridiculous, but for vegetables, it seems a little bit high. I don't know. Pretty excited to try it, though. Should make a pretty decent... Meatball Sando. <clears throat> it's tight lid. All right. I think I'll just put it on my face. Definitely smells truffly. It's a little thicker. That's, I like it like that. See, I like this better than their hot sauce, I think. Yep, I like this better than their hot sauce. The hot sauce is pretty strong on the truffle. This just tastes like a good marinara or pasta sauce with just that hint that you need in there. Yeah, that's gonna be really good. I'm excited for that. All right, meatballs are nearing completion. I'll grab the smallest one just in case it's a little pink in the middle. That's hot. That's a hot meatball. Not a bad meatball. It's hot. I like it. That's yeah, definitely cooked. I debated on putting the garlic in the meatballs. I kind of wish I would have. But my plan was just to add to the sauce. Kind of get everything garlicky a little bit, but... Oh well, it'll be good. All right, I fished out a couple because that was definitely way too many meatballs. I'm gonna get the sauce warming up without burning. That's not gonna happen. That's too hot. So definitely threw a little garlic in here with the meatballs and the sauce. I think that'll be pretty tasty. I think that smoke in my eye is really affecting my performance here. Oh, that's, that's rough. Not looking too bad. And we'll get stuff one more in there. Right, now, throw a little extra sauce in there. Don't want it to get soggy necessarily, but I'm gonna have a little extra. Just going with some plain old shredded mozzarella. Freshly grated or something would have been better, but. Ah, uh, let's get the job done. Not too shabby. Hot. That is not the worst meatball hug you've ever had. Or sub, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Plus, can't beat the view. 
Still so nice and sunny and warm out. The temperature has not dropped much since I got here. Maybe a little bit. Sun will be down here. I don't know. Within the hour for sure. I don't even know what time it is. Yep. That is not bad at all. All right. I'm kind of glad that's over. That was really tasty, but that was really filling for some reason. I'm borderline miserable. So, what I'm going to do stoke up that fire just a touch more hang out around it for a little bit listen to the creek and some music Whew, that's that's ridiculous i really cannot wait to be hungry again i do not like this feeling Whew. I slept really well. I had the heater on for a while, but it got way too hot. I had to turn it off. Whew. Like, once I get these windows tinted, or not tinted, but covered, it's going to be bad. It's like I'm going to sleep really well. It's a lot better, I think. <sighs> I need to get up and start on some breakfast. Because I have not had this in a while and I'm pretty excited for it. Trying to get you guys adjusted a little here. We're kind of level. Uh, yeah, fire is going. Save just enough firewood to make some breakfast. That's my plan anyways. Because I want to do campfire breakfast ramen. I think it's going to be really good. Um, do you have a new coffee to try? I got... 64 ounces of it. It's just what it was. Huh. Got enough for a couple mornings, anyways. Let's see what this is all about. International Delight. I always knew them to make like creamers, and I know they made like cold coffees. That's not bad at all. It's a touch sweet for my liking. I give it like an eight four. It's not bad. Might even be a nine if it was just a little touch less sweet. But anyways, give that a shot if you like mocha coffees. I uh, need to get prepping on some breakfast here. Oh, let me know what you guys think of the new uh like logo and song on the channel if you guys caught that last video i meant to mention something in it then and i completely forgot and didn't add it to the video so i'll mention it now uh the logo comes from josh so big thanks to josh for whipping that up for me i think that turned out really well and then the song uh a buddy of mine made his name well we call him bama it's not his real name but that's b-a-m-a -A. he is from alabama that's why we call him that uh, he sent that over to me. I think that fits the channel great. Oh, yeah. And I got this mount from Ryan. Big thanks to Ryan for that because it's like a clamp deal. You should be able to get you guys some really good shots with this. You just put your camera around the end. It's got a joint here, pivots here. Like the shot last night going to bed was just clamped to the camber top, pointing right in. So that is going to be money. So, yeah channel is coming along I'm making improvements i think learn as i go i definitely want uh, to make some stuff that's worth your guys time to watch 
There's been a big debate recently, apparently. I don't know, just what I've gathered from watching other YouTube videos that uh, people want longer videos. I've seen people say that if they have an hour long video, basically people are watching half of it. So they went to two hours and people are watching an hour. It's like nobody watches a full YouTube video. My opinion was keep it short because you guys have a lot to do. A lot of you have jobs, families, people you take care of. You don't have an hour to sit and watch me cook food in the woods and talk nonsense, right? So I was trying to keep it around 17, 25 minutes and nobody was complaining. But everybody seems to think that longer videos are where it's at. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the shorter videos? You know, less than 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes, whatever. Or would you like to see the little longer ones, like 30, 45? I mean, if you guys want to see me ramble on for an hour, I'll do it. I just don't want to bore you guys, so let me know. Speaking of boring you guys, I'm rambling again. So, fire's going. Why hear it cracking a little? Well, fire over the creek, but it is going. So, I need to start on my meat. So, for the sausage portion, we're going with Bob Evans Zesty Hot. I don't know. I don't think it's that spicy, but I don't think most things are. But I think it has good flavor. I've tried the Jimmy Dean. I just don't like it as much as this. Got some water going, so just got to get this cooking now. That's really hot. No hair left on my hand at all. So I've used beef and chicken for this, and they're both good. Uh, I thought about pork because sausage and bacon is pork. But I had a pack of these lime that I forgot, or lime, that doesn't say lime at all. These chili that I have, if you ever had these, these are pretty good. They do have a little bit of a kick, so that's going to be my super choice, I think. See if I can get it in here without completely burning myself, which that's not going to happen. Bacon's done, about burned, sauce is done, noodle's done. I think it's about time for assembly. <clears throat> so, noodles on the bottom, bacon, sausage. I got some Colby Jack. So I like to throw mine on this level now. That way when I throw my eggs on, it'll kind of melt that cheese. This bowl is entirely too full. Alright. Not too bad looking, huh? You guys probably can't see that. You probably can't. I'm always wrong with this angle stuff. But, I'm pretty excited. I've not had this in a long time. Sauce is pretty good. So, overcooked the eggs a touch. I like the yolk to kind of run into mine, but a little bit. Could have been a little better. Yep, still good. Just gotta get down to those uh, noodles now. Yep. Chili was the right flavor choice. I like that little kick. But you know I'm going more. I like sriracha on my ramen, so very little splash of that. It's probably too much. If you guys are into the hot sauce reviews, fear not because I have plenty. I just haven't, actually I don't even know if I've ever had sriracha on the channel. I don't know if I have, have I ever reviewed this? I don't know, I like sriracha, especially on like ramen and Asian food. I don't eat on a whole lot of anything else. But it's not bad on like burgers and stuff. 
Like an Asian food to me, it's like an eight. But just overall, I'd give it like a six, eight. Something like that. But it's pretty solid. But I do have plenty of hot sauces to uh, try in the future. I just kind of wanted to review the truffle marinara sauce last night. But we'll be back on new hot sauces shortly. Yep. That is hitting the spot. Probably didn't need two eggs. This is going to be really filling. So, that was way too much for breakfast. Very tasty. Very filling. Ooh. All right. Well, suppose that's that. I need to get my mess cleaned up and get out of here. That's for sure. So, I'm going to clean up a little bit and get packed up and get rolling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Haven't done a homemade meatball in a minute. It's nice trying a new sauce. The sauce is really good. I definitely recommend that if you like to give that a shot. Coffee was good. The that hard tea was good. Breakfast ramen's always good. If you've never had that, give that a shot. Even if you like only have chicken and you try it, like it sounds weird. It's it's really not. It tastes alright. But I'll probably be doing that chili again sometime because that was really good. But I'm so full now. I just want to go right back to sleep. Oh. But. Tune back in next week. We'll do it again. Probably make some more truck progress. I still got some plans. and Got some stuff to install. and Stuff to modify and change. Like I said. This is definitely the first stage of this. Learn a lot more about it as I go. But I'm digging the truck setup for sure. Suburban did fine. It's just you know, a lot more room in the truck. A lot easier to organize. So, uh, yeah, pretty big fan of that so far. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to make like a playlist. I've never done that, but I guess you can make a playlist on YouTube. And I'm going to try to put all the truck build in that playlist for anybody that just wants to go through and kind of see what I'm doing. But I think uh, that's it for this week. So, yeah, thanks for coming along. Glad you guys uh, tune in every week, the ones of you that do. For those of you that aren't subscribed, think about doing that. It definitely helps me out and then it'll notify you whenever i upload and uh leave me a comment if you like i really like talking to you guys uh a lot of fun answering questions and getting feedback from you guys because i don't know if you can tell i'm not kind of an idiot so all the advice and help that i can get i will take uh yeah thanks for coming tune in next week but for now thanks for watching